Welcome to a video from TheDigitalLifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to have a look at build 18342 for Windows Insiders. This is if you're on the fast ring. Now, normally I would do this video on uh, my Surface Go, but I can't do that today because one of the issues with this build is it doesn't... There's an issue with connected standby, so they're not releasing this build if you've got one of the affected devices. So that's Intel 64, Family 6, Model 142, and Model 158, and this is a 142, the Surface Go, that I've got. So I've not got the build installed on here. I have got it on another device, and we'll talk about some of the changes on that. The first thing Microsoft highlight in the changes is actually around gaming. If you remember on build 18.334, they had um, they were asking for some feedback on gaming with Windows 10, and they gave a copy of Stated K to play with through the Xbox Insider Hub. Some feedback through there. So they're asking you to test that again, and they said they've applied some of those changes uh, from the feedback. Uh, not other, not too many other details on that. What is interesting in this build is, and this was on the uh, Skiphead build as well that was released last week, is they've added the ability to access Linux files um, in the Linux uh, Windows subsystem for Linux distro directly from Windows. So if you look here, here's my Linux uh, subsystem uh, Debian running uh, using the Linux subsystem for Windows. So there's my Debian, and if I go here you can see there's my um, using that uh, WSL dollar I can then browse those folders on my Debian build you couldn't do that previously but that makes it so much easier of moving data between systems um, and uh, or and it's not just file explorer anything th command line uh, visual studio code anything like that can interact with that so that makes it a lot better for um, a phone when you're working with both systems that's really the main change they may, do call out another change which is a chrome extension for timeline uh, that's actually not really for Windows as part of the insider program but you can if you use google chrome you can go to the chrome web store and install a, a extension so that is so that chrome activity shows up here in timeline and not just um not just edge activity the rest of the changes are uh, all the minor, minor ones. They fixed issues with Sandbox, which would not start some localized builds and error reporting in Sandbox, and uh, errors deleting um, files in Sandbox as well. And uh, now support uh, Windows Sandbox now captures hotkeys in full screen. So there's quite a few uh, uh, fixes for Sandbox. Uh, they've fixed issue with magnifier, some issues with the setup, they fixed an issue with advanced display settings, it would sometimes crash, I had seen that, so, but that's been fixed, and they fixed some uh, emoji panel and clipboard history, and some issues alt-tabbing when you went from a game and back to Windows, so there's quite a lot of fixes actually in this, and there's a full list of um, fixes on the digitallifestyle.com. In terms of known issues, there's not that many actually. The um still the issue with the Creative X5 sound card, so they're still working on that. Uh you still may get an issue when performing a reset of PC uh with reserved storage and some real tech SD cards are not functioning correctly. There's an issue with sandbox if you navigate to narrator settings, the settings that may crash, pointer colour may not be uh Point of color may be incorrectly switched to white after signing signing back in, and an issue with uh, Chinese version of multiple games not working. So that's the main changes with this build. We are getting right to the end now. I was, we'll get a few more builds, but we are getting to the end of development. You notice know, the watermark is still on this one. When I run it on my Surface Go, sometimes the watermark isn't there. So. Um, I think it's probably a bit of A/B testing. But anyway, that's the changes with this build. You don't forget to go on our YouTube channel and look at the 20H1 build, the first look at 20H1 build, which are, which is out uh, for Skip Ahead. I've got the details of that on the digitallifestyle.com as well. You can follow me on Twitter, at Dixon. Thanks for watching this video.